Welcome to Mama My Strength Family Day. Friends, if you like this video, do subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the bell icon. Hi, friends, how are you all feeling? Hope you all are fine as well as safe, guys. It's morning, as you can see, the sun is out. But you will also be noticing the grey clouds. This is simply because of the smoky effect. As right now we are facing the wildfire issue. Plus the temperature is in hundreds. And it is a weekend. So my family has decided to quickly grab some breakfast from McDonald's. And to go and have picnic once again. Plus, it's Labor Day weekend here, so it's long weekend here in US, and uh, this is the best time to spend time with your family, um, you know, and create a lot of family bonding with your kids and you know, parents, etc. So my family has decided let's go and have a family picnic. Plus, um, we are just about to, um, you know, have a new change in our season, which is winter time is just around the block, I would say, or you can say around the corner. Right now, we are having summer, but since it's already September, we will soon be facing winter season so we decided why not you know since it's a hot day and soon summer will be ending so let's go out and enjoy the water so yes guys we are traveling now because uh, you know we want good location to enjoy our picnic moment so again the very best location that my family could come up with was Folsom Lake once again now Folsom Lake um, is is a very beautiful um, created lake and people go there to enjoy uh, with their family they uh, they can even uh, take their boats or water gears you know but the problem is that if you're going to enter the park you will need to pay a fee the park is also located in various division there is a special category or a special parking slot for people that will be traveling with boats etc and then we have another parking slot for those family or pacific area for those family who now don't have any boats etc but they may be having water gear you know uh, so um, such as like canoe etc so um and at the same time if you will be using the lake you will be required to pay a certain amount of fee per family this is not per head but per family park is maintained uh, by the staff that works there and at the same time the park uh, maintenance team does encourage uh, families that visit the park or use the lake for picnic to maintain its cleanliness um, you need to take your own trash bag but they do have the trash cans around uh, they also have got few benches and barbecue areas on top uh, but if you're using those facilities make sure you don't dirty it you know and I think it's wiser because if you want to use a clean place for picnic or for other family activities then you also need to maintain its cleanliness so that next time when you come back 
that is the same way others could leave it for you you know and i do thank the folsom lake team because they do a very great job in maintaining the cleanliness uh, at the lake side and because uh, if we are in a in a location whereby we don't have these uh, facilities uh, in our area which is why we have to travel uh, to enjoy uh, lakes or beaches like for example if we need to go down to the beach we have to travel to uh, either LA or San Francisco because we live in in a, in the inner land where we don't have this uh, facilities but we do have lakes and rivers right now we are in the freeway and you can see that there are not much traffic around i like Folsom area because the scenery is very beautiful the area looks very neat and clean the way it's uh, maintained um, here you know uh, just like in other countries you might have your own town council etc here in US too you have uh, different areas have got their own uh, counties uh, that maintains the cleanliness of that particular area or that particular city and I'm very grateful for the way they take care of Folsom Lake and the Folsom area. Guys, we are not in the desert. And the scenery that you're seeing, these are the dry grasses right now. And yes, Folsom is um, an area which is uh, which does have mountains. Friends, if you are planning a family picnic, try to store water in your refrigerator so that you have chilled water for the next day. And at the same time, um, if you are not into fast food and you prefer to take your own meal and you have got kids, uh, try to make sandwich such as tuna or chicken sandwich um, uh, fillings night at the night time or um, make sandwich in advance so that you can carry along with you um, have some snacks ready such as chips etc that you can have at the uh, picnic site few candies but not I won't recommend ice creams or milkshake because that can lead to an upset stomach but if you are into fast food you can always grab things like McDonald's or pizza uh, so that you can have at the picnic site or if you really want to enjoy um, a heavy meal such as have barbecue etc then try to pre-marinate your uh, picnic ingredients um, night before well pack them try to have an insulated bag with you uh, so that you can keep the chill foods that you're going to travel with also try to have a mat or uh, a beach mat or towel ready that you're going to use um, at the picnic site pre-pack your picnic bag for your swimming gears etc if you are at the beach or the lake side make sure you have your uh, safety life safety jackets your um, goggles um, your proper footwear for example we are going down to Folsom Lake and we will be at the rocky side so a flip flop might not work a canvas might be good but then if you will be going to swim and coming back to sit you need a proper footwear so we are using the um, 
water footwear here that we got from Big Five, which is uh, um, they have all this uh, outdoor gears, and this shoes is waterproof and it is also good when you're walking on the sand or the rocky area and it keeps your feet covered so you don't get hurt especially if you're a diabetic patient and you wish to enjoy such areas your footwear is very very important and at the same time have your sun hat and um, you know sunshades with you guys if you will see um, like I said we are going for a picnic but if you will be seeing the environment you might be thinking it's just about to rain it's getting cold uh, the environment seems like it's cold or it's night time or getting uh, it's close to evening which is not true like I said the day has just started if you will notice the cloud it's gray because of the smoke effect so we are already inside Folsom area and I was just discussing with you some of the things that uh, is wise for us to carry guys um, if you don't have a beach umbrella uh, you can always have a, a tent or some type of shade uh, carry some type of shade with you so that you can uh, not feel the sun's heat you know as for my family I'm carrying a pop-up tent with me um, some uh, folding chairs there be chairs um, they're very lightweight but at the same time um, you know you can easily relax and enjoy the atmosphere with your family because you have some type of shade over you you have a nice sitting area plus um, you know oops, sometimes when you swim you get tired you need a place to come back and rest I am carrying McDonald's food today with me that we got uh, from McDonald's earlier on and some subway sandwich I also have water and coke uh, that I chilled um, at home this is simply because I'm carrying my own um, um, cooler bag that I keep in my car and um, you know it's easy when you go down for picnic and stuff you you don't need to uh, you know um, carry other stuff you can carry the bag with you at the picnic location but these days you have the two-in-one picnic bag that you can carry with you it does have um, a, a cooler bag at the bottom and you can keep your picnic gears on top now friends if you have kids you can take their sand uh, bucket and spade etc so that they are not bored but the location where we are going to it's all rocky so my daughter will not be able to enjoy that apart from water so life jacket is very very important if you're going for swimming keep the kids floaters their proper swimming shoes for safety reason sometimes when you're swimming in the sand um, at the beach where you have sand you might not require the proper shoes etc because sand is more softer but like I said I'm going to a rocky area so I need this the lake is at the bottom of the mountain and we need to go down which is adventurous so guys here we are very much close to Folsom Lake one thing um, keep your changing gears with you you might like to carry a light blanket and a jacket for your kids in case when they come back after swimming they might feel the chill 
and for their ears try to have the ear vacuum with you some q-tips and an alcohol bottle so after wiping your ears you can wet the q-tip with the alcohol and re-wipe it so that if there is any insect or anything it could die and it will not affect your ears carry little extra food with you because after swimming kids and other family members that is with you do get hungry so guys here we are at the Falsam Lake we are right now going up the mountain Whatever we pay um, uh, for using the lake is whatever is reused to maintain the lake area. So here is the security uh, checkbook where we will be stopping to pay the fee so that we can use the lake. So friends, here is my picnic setup. That's my pop-up tent, my folding big chairs, and you can see all the rocks that is surrounding this picnic area. Now we are returning back. Friends, if you did enjoy my videos, please don't forget to share, like, subscribe. And I, like I said, I love you all. Please do share your views and comments on my channel. Like I mentioned to you guys that we are returning back now. So you can see how beautiful the area is, Folsom area. My daughter decided that we sh uh, no, should grab some Panda Express. So here we are right now getting some panda express so that we can carry it with us back home you can see we are at the freeway we've got few cars but not as much as it used to be when uh, during the normal scenarios when we did not have coronavirus Thank you for watching.